Amanda. The day is finally here. <laughs> the day you become my wife. I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle in a few short hours. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. I could not ask for a person who is stronger, more honest, or as beautiful inside and out as you are. The, my most the best memory is when he texted me and said, hey, are you guys home? And right then and there, I was like, I know it's going to happen. He came up to the house and asked my dad, my mom, and I if we could marry Miranda. And ever since then, that was it. <laughs> Someone is going to replace me as one of EJ's best friends. Um, I honestly can't think of a better person than Miranda to do that, really. Today signifies the creation of a new home in life as you each embrace the life of the other. Miranda, I love you. You are my best friend. I promise to encourage you and inspire you, to laugh with you, and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to be the best husband I can be. And maybe, down the road, the best father I can be. I think I'm gonna be a pretty good dad too because anyone who knows Miranda, I've already taken care of like a big, <laughs> a big kid anyway, so. I never believed in soulmates. I believed I was full on my own. He broke down my walls and made me believe. He made me realize my soulmate wasn't someone who completes me. It was someone who complimented me. I love these two more than anything, and they're such a huge part of my life. Like, we get to hang out on the weekends and go play disc golf and flip-flops and hike and... You know, it's great, and I love them so much, and I'm so happy, and that's all. I love you guys. By the power vested in me, by the Commonwealth State of Pennsylvania, it is my pleasure, and it really is an honor. I want to congratulate you, wish you the best of luck and everything that life has to offer. And if we could all please raise our glasses in a toast to each of A and Miranda and years of happiness.